I am Dr. Jos Anand, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, KCG College of Technology. I am taking the course on Digital Fundamentals and Architecture. This course consists of five chapters. The first chapter discusses about the minimization of logical gates using Boolean expression, KMAP and Kuhn McClesley method. The second chapter deals with the design and implementation of combinational circuits. Third chapter describes the design and implementation of sequential circuits. Fourth chapter explains about the memory devices. Fifth chapter covers the design and analysis of synchronous and asynchronous circuits. Now the fundamentals of Boolean algebra will be discussed. Boolean algebra was introduced by George Boole in the year 1854. In 1938, C.E. Shannon developed a two-valued Boolean algebra named as switching algebra. Boolean algebra is a mathematical approach to solve problem pertaining to analysis and design of digital circuits. The variables which are used in this digital logic is A, B, C, W, X, Y, Z, etc. These variables can assign two values, zeros and ones, or these two values are also called two states, which are false and true. Zero corresponds to false and one corresponds to true. There are three basic operations that are performed in digital systems. The three operations are and, or, and not. So these are also called logical gates. So the other operations such as NAND, NOR, XOR, XNOR are derived from these basic operations. Any logical operations can be represented in the form of a truth table which may contain all the possible input combinations with their corresponding output. First we will see the AND operation. So figure shows the symbol of two input AND gate. So the two inputs are A and B and the output is Y. The output of an AND gate is 1 if and only if all the inputs are 1. The expression for AND gate is Y is equal to A dot B and the truth table from the truth table the values for the values A and B if it is 0 0 the output will be 0 if the value is 0 1 the output will be 0 if the input is 1 0 the output is 0 and for the input 1 1 the output will be 1 next we will see the or operation so the symbol of two input or gate is shown in the figure the two inputs are a and b and the output is y the output of or gate is 1 if any one of the input is 1 the expression for or gate is y is equal to a or b and from the truth table if two input 0 0 is 0 the output will be 0 and if the inputs are 0 and 1 the output will be 1 and if the input is 0 1 and 0 the output will be 1 and if both the inputs are 1 the output will be 1 now we will see the operation of NOT gate the symbol of NOT gate is shown in the figure the input is A and the output is Y the output of a NOT gate is the complement of the input the expression of NOT gate is y is equal to a bar so from the truth table if the input is 0 the output is 1 and if the input is 1 the output is 0 now we will see the operation of NAND gate the symbol of two input NAND gate is shown in the figure the two inputs are a and b the output is y the output of an AND gate is 0 if and only if all the inputs are 1. The expression for an AND gate is y is equal to a dot b the whole bar. The truth table from the truth table, if the inputs are 0, 0, the output is 1. If the input is 0, 1, output is 1. If the input is 1, 0, the output is 1. 
and if the inputs are 1 1 the output will be 0. Next we will see the operation of NOR gate. The symbol for NOR gate is shown in the figure. The two inputs are A and B. The output is Y. The output of a NOR gate is 0 if any one of the input is 1. The expression for NOR gate is Y is equal to A plus B the whole bar. The truth table is shown in the figure. So from the truth table if the inputs are 0 0 the output will be 1. If the inputs are 0 1 the output will be 0. If the inputs are 1 comma 0 the output will be 0. And if both the inputs are 1 the output is 0. Next is the operation of XOR gate. The symbol for two input XOR gate is shown in the figure. The two inputs are A and B. The output is Y. The output of an XOR gate is 1 if any one of the input is 1. That is if both the inputs are same the output is 0. The expression for XOR gate is Y is equal to A XOR B. If the inputs are 0 0 the output is 0. If the input is 0 1 the output is 1. If the input is 1 0 the output is 1 and if the inputs are 1 1 the output is 0. And now we will see the expression for XNOR gate. The figure shows the symbol of the XNOR 2 input XNOR, XNOR gate. The two inputs are A and B. The output is Y. The output of an XNOR gate is 0 if one of the input is 1. The expression for XNOR gate is Y is equal to A XNOR B. And from the truth table if the two inputs are 0 0 the output is 1. If the inputs are 0, 1, output is 0. If the inputs are 1, 0, the output is 0. And if both inputs are 1, the output is 1. This is about the operations of gates. Thank you.